Pro's Tip, brought to you by Pelagic, high-performance offshore gear. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Pro's Tip. I want to talk to you real quick about island lures. You know, these are a staple when you're trolling down here in Florida. Really, anywhere in the world, they're a staple for offshore fishermen, but certainly here in Florida, they're an absolute must-have in your arsenal. Island lures come in a lot of different shapes, colors, sizes. You know, people often ask me my favorite color. I've got two options, blue and white and white and blue. That really, you know, is my all time favorite. Pink and white, also really effective. Uh, black and purple, dark colors can also be effective. So it's nice to have a variety of both dark and light, you know, for different conditions. But if you can only choose one, blue and white, that's for sure. As far as the head design, this is a typical tracker. You can see more of a bullet shaped head designed a little bit more for high speed fishing, high speed trolling. Certainly all of your high speed Wahoo lures are gonna have this tracker style island lure, okay? Whereas if I'm trolling rigged ballyhoo off the riggers, I like something with more of a concave face. This is an island black hole. Okay, it's got little jets inside there, puts out a tremendous amount of smoke and commotion, chugs right across the top, breathes really, really cool. And again, this is the black hole. There's a variety of different ones, the star, uh, the searcher, the sail lure, a lot of different options. But right out of the gate, the tracker, better for high speed fishing. I like this style as well on any deep baits you know, off of a trolling lead or off of a planer looking for wahoo or king mackerel over top of a strip bait or a ballyhoo, I'm always gonna fish that bullet style right there. Whereas off the riggers, again, something with more of a concave face like the black hole, it's gonna create a little bit more commotion and it's gonna prevent that bait from washing out. So again, always a good idea to have a variety, but those two should be an absolute staple in your tackle bag.